Okay, so today we're going to discuss how to, no matter what firmware you're on, no matter what model you want to use, get custom firmware on your 2DS. Um, same goes with 3DS, but there's a slightly different variation, which we'll do a video of later. Right now we're just going to discuss this one because it's ever so slightly easier. Uh, down in the comments you'll see a download link for two parts, step one and step two. Step one, you'll drag the contents of onto the SD card of your 2DS first, and then the next step. So literally pause this video right now, download the thing, extract it, and put the contents of step one onto your 2DS SD card. Because now we are going to continue. This from here on assumes that you've put step one contents on your SD card. Do not put step two contents on it at the same time because it will overwrite them. Okay. So the next step after you've done that, you can return the SD card back to your 2DS. Um, this should already be formatted to do what we're going to do. Uh, it should already be flashed to do it. Technically, you can use it as a, a, uh, as a, as a, you know, a ROM loading flash card, but you can also use it for this. Okay. So turn your three, your 2DS on or unlock it, whatever it may be. Make certain it's got some battery. You may as well, if you're not already on it, update to 11.6 at the time of this writing is the highest thing. Um, from 11.5 on, Nintendo patched a lot of stuff. Maybe by the time you're watching this in the future, there's a, a metric ton of more exploits if that's the case. Maybe you don't need this in the future, so why are you watching this? Anyway. So it should say version 11.6.0 or higher or lower, but if this is the current thing out when you're watching this video You may as well update to it Or update to whatever highest one that you want because if you have one of these it is a firmware It's it's not a firmware. It's a hardware exploit that it's taking advantage of. Okay so The next step that you do is uh, Shut the whole thing off Did I just lock it? Power off. Okay. Sorry, I think the 2DS's are definitely slower. And when the light turns off... Come on, buddy. Okay. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> as soon as I gave up on it. Uh, lock it into sleep mode. Even though it's... even though it's turned off, put it to sleep. Alright, so the next step here is that you will press X, select start and then power and you will hold this for one two three four five seconds and let go Let's try this one more time i realized that my card wasn't clicked in um because it had gotten bumped or maybe i pressed it or something all right so again x select start home button, one, two, three, four, five, hey, hey, that's what we're looking for. So it's going to go boop, 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 there we go. And so now you'll see a button combo on the top screen, it is always just going to be down, I mean left, down, right, up, A, and then it's going to do a firmware backup. Hi, Brandon. And once it's done, just press A to continue, and it's going to prompt you with that again. And then you pull out the SD card. It's fine. And then press B. And press B once more. And it will shut it down. This is where you put the second steps from step two folder onto the system. So you'll just go to the folder that I made called step two, like I'm doing right now in this moment as I'm stalling, and just highlight all of it and copy it to the SD card for your 2DS. And it should take a few seconds and then it'll ask you about uh, overwriting the 3DS folder, tell it yes, do it for all instances just to override it. And then it's going to ask you if you want to um, copy and replace or don't copy 77 conflicts just 
check mark the do this for the next 77 conflicts and then click copy and repla replace. You want to just cover up all of it because you don't need that initial stuff any longer. And about 10 seconds remaining. Sorry, guys. It's my computer. It's not you. Okay. So now, this is all in real time too, except for that one small edit that I made. Put it back in. Close a little tab on it. Take it off of sleep mode. Great. So now go into the settings. And this is how you'll know if it worked. Your initial step one. It should now say SYS for system or sys. It's a modded sys NAND. That's all you need to know. Your, your official firmware is now a custom firmware. Close that. And we're all we're just a few steps away here. So once it gets back to the main menu, any second now, hey, there we go. You're going to want to navigate to your download play and load that up. Weird, right? I know. And once that's loaded, don't choose anything on the screen. You're going to want to press the L button, the down, and the select button. And I just pressed the <laughs> I just pressed the start button. I was like, why didn't it work? There we go. And then you'll go down to miscellaneous options, and you're gonna to want to choose the first option where it says switch the HB title to the current app. That just means you're gonna put. It doesn't matter what it means. You'll see here in a second. Oops. So anyway, just choose that. Operation succeeded. Move back. Move back. Move back. And once you're on this screen, press home to return to the main menu. Yeah, yeah we know how a suspension works. Close it. It closes, and then once it's back to this, reopen it. Because now, we'll be in the homebrew launcher. And you just need to go down to... I put a lot of stuff in here. I know, there we go, FBI. I was going to say, I know I put FBI in here. <laughs> cool, so... In just a few moments, okay, so you'll choose the SD card, because that's where all the CIAs are, and they're in the CIAs folder. Great. And uh, so literally just um, hit A on that on that current directory option, and then hit install and delete all CIAs, because after in they're installed, you don't need to have them, you can delete them. If for some reason you see something on here that you don't want, actually technically we could get rid of this thing, because the homebrew launcher doesn't work that way. Anymore. Anyway, you got a bl big blue menu, you got something to theme it, you have the free shop, and you got a more permanent FBI than having to load it through the download play. Okay, so anyway, current directory. Install and delete all CIAs. Yes. And it does its thing. Doesn't take long at all. Okay, and that's literally it. Press start to exit. And it'll go back to here, but you can just press home actually and close it. And then once the software is closed, you'll have a whole bunch of fun little treats to unwrap. Did I, no, did I didn't mean to. And you can, what I usually do is just make a folder called homebrew or hacks or whatever and then put them all in there. And that's it. You can uh, look forward to seeing a 3DS version of this uh, same, very same R4i or you know some kind of clone variation of it video in the coming days. And that's everything. Have a good day, guys. Mm -hmm.